morning. I hope everybody's well. Um, this is the first live anything I think I've ever done on Facebook apart from um, stuff at the Judo Club. So my phone has had to be rotated up the way so I hope everybody can see. Hi Amanda. Hi Edinburgh Judo. I hope everybody's well and doing okay and ready for a, I guess, a mobility movement session. It's not going to be crazy um, judo style madness that we normally do. Hopefully it's a bit of loosening off, um, especially around the shoulders, a bit of the core and some of the lower body as well. Um, I think it should be relative to most, most people, whether you are currently training really hard, whether you're just starting to do lots of stuff, especially being sort of locked down at home. If you are a judo player and you are used to being crunched forward, hopefully we can loosen the shoulders off. If you are used to sitting at the desk, sitting at an office on the computer, it can loosen you off as well. And part of your hips and your body. I am not a yoga teacher, I'm certainly not a PT, but I'm going to use all the stuff that I've learned um, throughout my judo career just to loosen everyone off the day. So it shouldn't be too long. Nice to see everybody. If you want to join in, please join in. Um, and any feedback would be really useful. We can change it up each time um, and add in bits if people want it harder or easier. Okay. Morning, Kirsty. So, this is for you, Kirsty, especially all the work you've been doing um, that I've heard this week on your body and making it tired. Okay, so, first thing that you'll need is either a judo belt or a broom handle, or maybe a elastic. And if you've not got any of those, then a towel would do just fine. So this is my towel here, and it's rolled up into a tube. I'm gonna use the judo belt because that's what most of us have got. Okay, so morning, Karen. Hope that you can get a bit of flexibility. This will be good for your shoulders as well. Hi from Lachlan, good morning, Lachlan. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take hold of your judo belt or your broom handle just wider than shoulder width apart and take your hands above your head. Now, imagine that there's a piece of string pulling your head and your hands to the sky so that your body's nice and long and nice and strong. So from here, you're going to turn one way and hold it. Don't push too hard to start with. And then slowly back and turn the other way. Okay, keep and imagine that that string's pulling your head towards the sky. And back the other way. Nice and tall. And back the other way. Okay, once more each side. So turn and go once more each side. Okay, keep nice and tall. And the other way. Okay, same idea, nice and tall. Um, biceps close to your ear and side bend. Now only push it to where you can feel the stretch. Keep pulling those hands away from your body. And hold, change sides. And stretch. Okay, most of us will feel it in and around the shoulders, they'll be really stiff, really tight, especially if we've not worked them for a long time. So same again, I'm going to do this with the broom handle, so you can see my broom had a, a wee problem, so he's been stuck back together. And once more on the other side. Okay, so this time now, Take the broom or the handle a wee bit wider, okay? And you might have to go super wide for this, depending on how flexible your shoulders are. So very gently, from the front, lift up. Take it over, if you have to go wider like me, go wide and all the way down to your bottom. Then nice and slowly, over and down to the front. Each time you might be able to move it in half a centimetre over, bit of a push that time, 
and bring it back. Bring it forward and back. If you have got anything elastic, so any TheraBands or an elastic band, these are quite good because you can pull, you need to widen it and then it pulls them back in, which is really good on the stretch. Okay, two more. Over. Remember to breathe as well, so try and breathe and stretch. Okay, this time above the head. Come narrow again. Okay, this time you're going to hinge at the hip, stick your bottom back, make the knees nice and soft, and you're going to lean forward and stretch the shoulders from here. So your job on this one is to try and keep your biceps as close to your ears as possible and in line with your body. So from here, stretch, keep the arms in line with the body and hold, make the neck nice and soft and back. Okay, once more like this, stretch. And back. Okay, same again. Nice and wide. Hinge up the hip and stretch. This one might put more pressure on your shoulders, depending on your flexibility. And you'll probably feel it in the hamstrings as well. So two more like that. So keep nice and wide. Okay, nice and wide. Hinge up the hip and hold, hold. And back once more. Hold, hold, and back. Okay, so you start to feel the shoulders, which should be working. Okay, the next step is some of the mobility stuff that we do at the judo club on a warm up, but also some of the stuff that I definitely used to do before I would start to compete or in the morning, maybe if I had a day off. Okay, so this one, imagine we have a hurdle in front of us. And we just want to overstep the hurdle, one on one side and one on the other. Okay, so off you go, nice and slowly. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something and step and step. Don't push it too hard to start, okay? Everybody's hip mobility is going to be different. One side will feel different to the other side. Okay, if you can, keep nice and strong through the core. Over a few sessions, you'll find that your hips will start to get more mobile. You'll be able to set over a higher hurdle. Over. Over. Remember to breathe, otherwise you'll get a short breath like me. Over. That's it. Let's get those 20. Over. Okay, so same idea, imagine the hurdle, but now you're going to step back over the hurdle. So this time, really open the hip out, step back over the hurdle, alternate legs so you can get the hips moving. Again, each person is different, your hip mobility is different. Okay, so just do it to you what you need to do it to for now, and hopefully it's something we can work on. Okay. Remember to breathe, open the hips, open the hips, okay, same from the side, step back, couple more, okay, so the next one, what we want is we want the opposite leg to come across the body, but we want the torso to stay nice and tall, so we're going to start with just the knee, Stretch, come up, oops, and the knee stretch. So eventually it wants to look like here, here. Keep the body nice and strong, keep the body nice and tall. But if, if you're just starting out, step up and pull across. Step back, step up and pull across. If that's okay for you, start to push to kick, keeping the body strong. But really pulling that hip, really pulling that hip across, pulling that leg across. Five more. Good. 
Okay, so now you start to feel the hips. So the next one, similar idea. We want to kick forward with one of the legs. Okay, it's going to feel it on the hamstring, so don't start to flip the leg real high to start with. So step and lift. Change leg, step and lift. And eventually, if you feel like you can, opposite arm to leg, start to step and lift. Okay, remember it's for you. Keep going, keep going. It's for your movement. It's for your flexibility. Okay, Evan, good lad. I hope Evan's joining in. Morning, Rachel. Good for a bit of movement. Okay, just to get those hips, keep moving. Last couple with the forward ones. Good job. Okay, same idea, but this time sideways. So the idea is to touch the toes with the legs to the side, but everyone's different. So let's just start nice and low. Boom. Here. Okay, once you get used to that, you can start to go a little bit wider. Boom, get those hips moving. Careful for the hamstrings, try and keep the body nice and strong. Remember to breathe. Okay, remember to breathe. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Keep moving, a couple more on that one. Couple more, couple more. Okay, so next one we've warmed some of the shoulders. We've got a bit of mobility in the shoulders. We've started on the hips. For me, especially my ankles, used to cause me a lot of problems. And every morning when I wake up now, I've still got sore ankles. So it's quite a nice start to the day to get my ankles moving. Okay, so from here, you want to take one leg back, but leave a gap so that you're not too wobbly. Okay, so. One leg back. Okay, you're going to bend that back leg like the sprinter and then straighten it out. Try and push the heel to the ground. Bend forward, bend the knee, straighten it out. Now, everybody will be different. This for me absolutely kills. It's so tight and it's so sore, but I can feel the stretch on my calf. Okay, so hands on hips, hold on to the wall. Bend the front leg, bend the back. And straighten, off you go. Let's go for a set of 12. Okay, feel the stretch at the bottom. If you don't feel the stretch, make the stretch, make the distance wider. Then you'll feel more of a stretch. Bend and straighten, change sides. So bend, straighten. Okay, bend, straight, bend, straight. Keep balance, set of 10. Okay, if you're, kids, if you're a kid and you're a judo guy or a judo girl doing this and you're really young, you're going to be really flexible. Okay, so if that's you, hold this position a bit longer. Then bend and then straighten. Okay, for us older guys and girls, could be a bit more tight. Okay, next one for the front ankle this time. Okay, so this time you want to go like a sprinter. So if you need your cushion or your towel, put that down here. Okay, now push the knee over and come back. Push the knee over and come back. You're trying to keep the heel on the ground like this. Trying to keep the heel on the ground. Okay, a couple more on that side. Okay, from the front here. So, push in. Okay, if you're super, super fit, like I know some of you guys and girls are, and super flexible, then you'll be able to push. Real far, this knee will come right over. Try and keep the heel on the ground. Really good. Okay, we're going to go into the next part now. The next bit is a bit more, um, for me, might be a bit more challenging on my lungs, okay? Although it's not too stressful. So, this one is, we're going to lunge. We are going to lunge into a deep lunge with our hands nice and high. So you might need your towel, or your yoga mat, or your cushion for the back knee. Okay, so nice and tall. Step to your lunge position. Now you should end up with a 90 degree position on the front leg. Okay, so tall hands. Step, step, knee down, turn one way, Turn the other way, side rotation, 
side rotation and then from here you've got two options hand on the knee push back or hands in the air push back okay same again but on the other side so from here step knee down turn to the side one way turn to the side the other way get a good stretch side side and ready push back push okay off you go let's do five four or five each side what a stretch stretch push and then push okay for some of us if we want to challenge it a bit more to this position keep the knee hovering so don't pop the knee on the ground so knee up turn keep the core nice and strong Side, you can feel the legs, or mine are certainly starting to shiv, um, shiggle and push back. Okay, so three more, two or three more. Okay, good job, stretchy Sarah. I hope you're stretching and making everything movey, movey, movey. Okay, a couple more of those here, here, here. Here, keep that leg hovered, keep that leg hovered if you can, and push. That one's tough. Okay. Next one. Okay, this one's a bit more challenging, or I think it is. One leg. Okay, now bend at the hip like a seesaw. So when your head goes down, the leg comes up. Head down, head down, leg comes up. If that's as far as you can go, Bend the knee, touch the ground, step back, same again. But this time, we push back to the front. Okay, so watch again. This time, okay, one leg, if you need to hold on, hold on to something. Like a seesaw, strong chest. Head goes down, leg comes up, keep the balance, the ankles working hard, the thighs, the quads. If this is as far as you can go, dip the knee, touch the ground, step back to your lunge, keep balance, couple of stretches, hand on the knee or hands in the air, push to the front leg. Okay, a couple more of these. If you're super flexible like some of those kids are, Watch carefully. Strong tummy. Keep strong angles. Keep going. Keep being that seesaw all the way down. Dip the knee. Dip the knee. Stretch back. Here. And here. Okay. I'm definitely sweating. So I hope some of you guys are too. Okay, so for me that one's quite challenging because you have to keep a really strong torso so that is something that you could work on maybe film yourself doing it because you want to keep super strong and you want to hinge at the hips okay next one here slightly wider legs toes pointed out the way hands on knees or hands on thighs and start to dip into that wider squat okay now this is going to be different for each person Okay, if you can go wider and dip further, dip like that. You can put lots of weight through your hands or you can put less weight through your hands. But knees following the toes are what's super important. Okay, so from here, just a little bit of movement. Don't, no jerky movements, just a stretch. You'll feel the stretch here. I definitely feel it in my bum and here. If you're here, just feel the stretch and just gentle movement. Okay, come out of it slowly. Give your legs a shiggle. And wide again, or as wide as you need to go. Toes out, knees out, into that position. If you can, if you feel comfortable, some of the kids will definitely feel comfortable here. Hands up, okay, and you can move side to side. Okay, keep those knees pointing to the toes, none of this. Okay, you can feel the thighs but I can feel my thighs burning. Here, here, and 
Here, gently come out, gently come out, and give them a shiver. Okay, so I certainly can feel it. It's just a bit of a stretch, it's just to get things moving. Okay, last couple of bits on the ground this time. So put your towel out or on the carpet or the floor, or if you've got a yoga mat, pop your yoga mat down. Okay, so this one um, for me is really good for the shoulders, and it'll take a couple of weeks for us to get some of these muscles working again and getting them really going and um, firing. Okay, so we did a lot of these as judo players because judo players are often rounded and your muscles pull you forward, whereas you want to be open and keep your body open. So the first ones are called angels. We lie on our face, like so, and from here, palms down, and then palms down, and just at your bottom, palms up, and then palms down again. Keep your forehead on the mat, and if you need a cushion underneath your body, put the cushion. So, a set of 12, count for four, and back for four. Try to keep your arms or your hands off the ground, and imagine, keep going, imagine you're squeezing this bit here nice and tight, and those muscles will work super hard. Okay, so squeeze these muscles nice and tight and you're going to do a set of 12 angels. Off you go. Most of you should be finished. Kids, make sure you count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, good job. Okay, the last few. Eyes, Y's, T's and W's. So imagine that you are a capital I or a capital Y or a capital T, or a capital W, okay? And the idea is to bring the shoulders and the arms and work those tiny muscles in and around here because we're often slumped. Okay, set of 10 for eyes, capital I. Okay, feet stay on the ground and shoulders come up. Like this. Keep breathing. Okay, once you've done 10, have a rest. I know for some of us, this is probably really challenging. I know when Billy was trying this, his shoulders actually don't come off the ground because he spent so long um, over in this position. So, let's go for capital Y's. So, kids, big capital Y, same again. Pinch the shoulders tight and here. Hold for a second at the top. Have a rest, capital T. Same again. Feet stay on the ground, forehead on the ground if possible. And let's go for W, so make a W shape. Same again. A set of 10. Okay, so give your shoulders a sugar. Leave my glasses steamy. Okay, make sure everything's loosened off. For some of us, certainly me, um, that part of my body is real tight. Okay, so I appreciate we've had a bit more explaining today, but hopefully as we get through it, we'll be able to go faster. Okay, so from this position, from the floor, let's go into tabletop position. Okay, let's curl the back up tight, up high, and then push the back round it like this, head up. Okay, here, and here. Remember to breathe all the time. And remember to stretch, especially where you feel you need to stretch. Okay, take your time. So now from here, try and keep the hands on the ground and come into our cobra style position. Okay, if that's too difficult, just come with the forearms here. Okay, so push slightly around the back if you can into the 
this position here. Okay, last two positions. So if you've done yoga, we will know this position. If not, um, you might grow to love it or you might hate it um, like I do. But tabletop position, hands down, tuck the toes. Okay, so tuck the toes under. Bottom to the sky. And just pedal the feet nice and gently. So your job here is to try and push the armpits to the ground and just to pedal the feet like this. Okay? Try to imagine that there's a bit of string pulling your bottom to the sky while you're in this position. Here, here. Push the armpits down and rest. Give everything a shoot Okay, one small for this one. Tabletop. Okay, push the arms and um, the palms flat into the ground, tuck the toes, bottom to the sky, and start to pedal your feet. Okay, ears should be pushed past your biceps. Okay, if you can, come with a slight bend and come to rest or come into this position here. Like this. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath. Okay, come to rest. Give your arms a shoot on. Okay, if you've not had a drink, sorry, make sure you drink. Okay, last position. Feet together. Arms straight. Bottom on your heels. Knees wide. And come to settle in this position here. So, knees as wide as possible, bottom on your heels, and start to push. Your job here is to try and push the armpits flat, and to try and push um, your hands away from your body. Okay, what about you do? Stay in that position, and just do a couple of really deep breaths. So breathe in. And breathe out. You should be in this position. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in once more. And breathe out. Okay. Gently, gently. Stand up. Give your body a go. Okay. Shoulders, hips, ankles. Okay. We're just in the half an hour. So I think that's probably enough for everybody today. I think that... Um, I've really enjoyed doing it. It's some of the things that I definitely still try to work on and some of the movements I used when I was competing just to try and keep my body supple. There's tons more things we can add in. Um, there's tons more things that I'd like to add in, but a bit of feedback from you guys um, would help develop and move that forward. Um, nothing's rocket science. At the end of the day, if you do something consistent, consistently, you'll get better and better at it. And, even just taking 15 or 20 minutes out of your day, especially at this time when things are a bit up in the air, then hopefully you can get better. Feedback would be great either on here or in a message, a private message, and we'll try to develop the sessions going forward. But thanks for watching guys and take care and have a good Tuesday. Okay, cheers, bye.